Welcome back once again, Pastor Tom Brian, another show today. Today's gonna be really quick today. I'm talking about a book I recently read, uh, The Top 10 Habits of Millionaires. All right, so stay tuned. I'm gonna go over this top 10, so I'll be right back. Passing with Tom Green, another show. This one's really about, you know, you've got to have big goals with everything going on today, you know, everything with the CV, you know, your bank account's going a lot lower, your stock account's going a lot lower. You've got to think, you still got to think big, long-term what you want to do because this is not going to last forever. All right. So, you know, I, I don't read a lot. I read a whole lot. I average about, you know, maybe 17, 18 books a year. You know, people don't have time, but you really got to think about reading because that's really important for you to do. But uh, let's get started. You know, the number 10 reason, I'm going to go from 10 down to 1. The number 10 reason for millionaires, what they need to be or what they need to do, they've got to have, you know, millionaires think long term. You can't just look at, you know, what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to happen, you know, the next week. You've got to think long term. You know, what's your 5-year plan, your 10-year plan, your 20-year plan, you know, what do you want to do? What do you want to have? How much money do you want to have? You've got to have money coming in to get there. So you've got to look longer term. You know, how much is your job paying you right now? How much is it going to pay you next year and so on? You know, are you going to raise or are you going to have other sources of income coming in? Do you ever look long term? You know, you know, take that money and, you know, put it back into you to build up your investments or your passive income. Okay, number nine, you know, millionaires think about ideas. All right, this is a key one. You know, <clears throat> big people talk about ideas. Average people talk about things. And small people talk about other people. Think about that. You know, big, big people, they say about ideas. All right. The average person or average people, they talk about things. The small people, they talk about other people. All right. So if you want to get ahead in life, you can't worry about what your buddy's doing. You can't worry about these things going on. You really got to think about ideas. You know, what do you need to do to get from point A to point B in your life? You know, whether you're poor, you went to the middle class, whether you're middle class, you want to become rich, you've got to think about ideas. What do you need to do to get there? You got to think. It's not about talking about what you're, what this person is doing, what this coworker is doing, or what this person in, you know, on TV is doing, or, you know, this, this famous star, you know, you can't really think about things, things like that because these other people, they're not going to affect your life at all. It's just, you know, more like gossip and whatever it may be, but it's about ideas. You know, ideas will take you from point A to point B. Okay, number eight, millionaires embrace change. Just like we're going through right now, this is a change is going to change everything in your life. You can't sit around bulking, you know, sulking, and crying and everything going on. You've got to figure out, you know, what do you need to do to maintain where you're at? What do you need to do? Do you need to go get a part-time job right now because, you know, people, you're losing your, your current job right now? There's a lot of things you can do to get out there and to do it to change the things going on. You can't really worry about what's going on. You can't let the press you or whatever. You got to figure out what can you do to make a change, you know, figure it out. You know, that's what you got to bring in your head. Okay. Use this time to change your life and what to do. You know, you have plenty of time to do it. I know you have, I know you have some time. So figure out what you need to do. It's all about embracing change and making the most of it. Okay. The next one is, you know, millionaires take calculated risks. Pretty much you can't even like sit and be comfortable where you're at. You, you got to take a little bit of risk in your life to get ahead in the future. Uh, there's one little, <clears throat> the author pretty much talks about this one, these three ideas that his mentor told him. He asked, you know, what's the best thing that could happen? Number two, what's the worst thing that could happen? Number three, what's most likely to happen? Think about that. If you need to rewind it, rewind it, but you know, What's the best thing that could happen? What's the worst thing that could happen? And what's most likely to happen? You've got to think, you know, it's almost like playing chess or checkers. You know, if you do A, if you move one piece to another area, what's going to happen? <laughs> Same thing, if you don't move that piece, what could happen? What's the other player, what's the other person supposed to do doing as well, you know? Okay, number six, millionaires continue to learn and grow. You can't just, you know, if you finished up high school, finished up college or whatever, that's great. But you've always got to be able to be willing to learn and grow because there's different ideas coming around. Yeah, if you haven't seen the world is changing, it continues to change. If you're not changing, you may get 
you know, left behind. I hate to say it, but you've got to change along with, you know, with the society is changing as well. Because once you do that, it will help you embrace different things and be, you'll be open to try new ideas. And you might have to change your investment portfolio. You might be changing your budget, whatever it may be, but you've got to change along with it. You know, say if you get married, you've got to make financial changes right there. Once you get married and you have possibly have kids, you know, that's more changes right there. You've got to be able to adjust with these changes coming along in your life. Okay, number five, millionaires work for profits. But most people, you work you work for wages, okay? You're looking for wages, but millionaires look for profits. You know, say they have something and they think, what can I get out of this you know, long term? What will happen? So you got to be a little patient as well. <laughs> so if you buy an investment or buy, or buy a collectible or whatever, you know, how much could this be worth, you know, a year later, five years later, 10 years later? You know, you've got to look long term. You can't think about what can this really help you today? You know, it may, today it may not help you at all, but, you know, Five, 10 years down the road, it could be, you know, a qu- qu- double, triple the amount that's in there right now. It could be worth a lot more. So look, work, millionaires work for profits, not for wages. No, habit number four, okay, millionaires, they believe they have to be generous. You know, <clears throat> millionaires, they, they come across a lot of people, a lot of different ideas, and sometimes people that really help them out, push them along to that next level. And so millionaires like, sometimes they like to give back, helping others, you know, get along where they want to be in the future and try to give them little tips because, if you help somebody, does that make you feel a lot better? If you keep everything to yourself, I mean, does that really help you at all? It doesn't. It just helps maybe your ego, but if you're helping somebody else get along, giving a little tip, you know, some suggestions, that may help them out. And, you know, it gives you that satisfaction when you do that. So sometimes millionaires like to be generous, helping others in one form or fashion. It could be um, could be giving them money. It could be, you know, serving at a charity. It could be helping out, you know, and giving back. Because giving back, it does a lot more than just really than receiving, you know. That's why you always hear that saying, it's always better to give than receive. Okay, number number three. Millionaires have multiple sources of income. If relying on that one income, you know, it could be detrimental to everything going on in your life. You've got to have multiple streams of income coming into your life. Because once you do that, you know, it could make you withstand anything going on right now. You know, say your job, you know, has laid you off for right now because everything going on. But you have another stream of income that could help you out. You know, if you're relying on that one stream of income, that's really going to be hurting you right now. That's why I saw that the other day. I saw a lot of people, you know, file for unemployment. You know, but if you had another stream of income, you may or may not have to file that for unemployment. That's why you've got to look for other resources coming in. You know, it could be passive income, you know, which I try to teach you, try to give you different ideas to try to show you what is possible. Because when you have all the streams of income coming in, it can help you more than hurt you. So think about it and spend that time to find out what you need to do, you know, to have multiple streams of income coming into your life. It could be stocks, it could be real estate investing, it could be your writing and get your doing F, FBA, um, familiar by Amazon coming in. It could be something. There's so many different ideas out there right now. And use this time, you know, search on the internet or, you know, search in my previous um, videos as well. There's so many different things you can do to get out there. Number two, okay, millionaires focus on their net worth. If you don't know what net worth is, net worth is, you know, you have, you've already paid off that bill. You don't, or you already paid off a rental property. You own that asset, you know, so that's what the net worth is. You know, it's just, it builds up. You take your income minus your expenses and anything after that is your net worth. So it's a little, a little confusing right there, but let me see if I can explain it better. But you own several multiple, several uh, rental properties. So you already paid off the rental property. So that is your net worth. Say it's worth, you have like 500,000 in rental properties and you paid everything off already. So that is your net worth. But you may have, you know, another 500,000 in stocks. You know, that's your net worth. 500,000, 500,000, that's a million dollars right there, okay? So focus on your net worth. Where is your net worth? What do you need to do to increase it to bump it up higher? Okay, the last one, number one, you know, millionaires ask them empowering questions. Think about it. They ask them self-empowering questions. I'm going to give you a couple ideas on what that really means. You know, you're going to ask, how can I double my money this my, my money in this year? How can I double my income this year? What do you need to do? Do you need to take another job or do you need to go and take another skill, some lessons to improve, whatever it may be, to improve your position? And so you might get a, a bonus or a raise out of that. <laughs> or you can ask yourself, you know, how can I get money to pay the bills this month? What do I need to do? That, you know, it's 24 hours in a day, you have seven days in a week. I know you're not sleeping that whole time. I know you're not working the whole time. So what else can you do to have extra money coming in your pocket? 
let's look at a couple more examples. You know, how can I make a million dollars a year doing what I love? How can I, what can I, how can I get my boss to give me a raise? What is life trying to teach me right now? Why do bad things always happen to me? How can I develop a deeper relationship with my wife? Why so, why so hard to get along with my wife? Or, or spouse, excuse me. Um, you know, it's really a lot of great tips in this book. I encourage you to think about this. If you need to rewind this, go back and do that again. But you've got to think about what you've got to really have a higher sense of where you can be. I know. I didn't come up from a rich family. I didn't come up, I you know, had some tough, tough, uh, tough struggles in my life, but you've got to think, what do you need to do? You gotta have these big goals, you know, just like Grant Cardone says, you gotta 10X whatever your current goal is, and then, you know, achieve that higher goal, whatever it may be. So in this case, it's about habits of millionaires. So, I mean, did you have any of these habits? Drop them below. But if you need to make change in your life, I encourage you to do that because a lot of great tips. I hope you can really get something out of this. And, you know, don't let the current situation, you know, affect you because we're going to get through this all together. All right. Hey, I'm going to come back with another pa another passing room video this Tuesday. So make sure you come back again. Make sure you haven't already subscribed, like this video, click the bell notifications. Um, check these other videos, but I'm sure will really help you out and give you some ideas on how to, you know, improve put some passive income in your life and give you some different ideas and make better improvements in your life. All right. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you again.